Hello everybody and welcome to Dust, an Elysian Tale. I recently got this game off Steam and I wanted to do a let's look at it to check it out. So I've played about 25 minutes of it, difficulty normal, you know, I'm not that great at it. So I'm going to jump right into that and then I'll start um, telling you what's up. Um, okay, first let's look at the options menus. Help and options. How to play, that's pretty nice. Um, unfortunately, from what I can tell, it only has the he <laughs> he. It... I mean, it, it has the controller, basically. That's that's a good part. Um, you know, it has the keys. It has a bunch of the combos. Now, what I find really annoying is what I'll show you here is that it says, oh, you know, you can use right-click, you know, ground and throw or from once it came or whatever. Right-click. But if you try to use right-click in a combo, it uh, uses this dust storm. And it's possible that you can rebind that, but I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, help and options. Controls. Yeah, controls. Nothing special. Settings. You can customize this, but it's not great with extra mouse buttons. But you know, it's pretty. It's pretty good. Um, you know, nothing special, but it's it's good. Good options menu, especially for you know an indie game because this was made by like one person. Adjust the HUD, the credits. Uh, you know, whatever. Um, back. So achievements. It also has these. I'm not really a big person for achievements, but it's nice if you like them. Okay, let's get really get into the game. Okay, so it's a brawler, right? It's a uh, it's a kind of cartoony looking brawler. And to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of brawlers. They can be all right sometimes. I'm just they're just not my thing. I, however, really like at least the combat in this one. I feel like it's fluid. Um, the combos aren't the best. Oh, cinematic. Don't worry, I think I can handle it. Exercise all you've learned, Dust. Send these foul creatures from this existence. Alright, so I guess this is a good uh, opportunity to show you guys some of the combat. Um, it's an alright game, I guess. It's not really my thing, to be honest, though. I do, however, like the combat. It's pretty nice. There's a nice counter system. Um, there's a lot of good combos. No, wait! Oh, great. Alright, so, and I mean, it seems like it can get decently difficult. I'm only on normal, so I haven't really seen that much yet. But it seems like it can get, you know, pretty hard. Uh, and there's four difficulty levels, easy, normal, hard, extreme, or something. Um, pretty damn flashy. Okay, the things that I don't like about this game are, one, just personal, which is the... Uh, the art style. I mean, I like the background kind of looking things. I do like those. They look pretty nice to me, at least. But, as you could see from the cinematics, at least I think so, uh, the, the character models, you know, not not the best. At least not in my opinion. Pretty fuzzy. It doesn't look like it's at the right resolution, but I mean, this is it is at the right resolution. I just, I don't really like the whole furry thing. <laughs> and I just, I don't really like the, the really cartoony, like, uh, bo sword in the stone movie looking aesthetic but that's just me um, one thing that I really do kind of dislike about this is that I don't really like the story to be honest but yeah here's a further look at the character models I mean it's it's pretty fuzzy it's it's not really I mean you can't really blame the guy for that but it, it's not great it's really not great uh, the combat, however, as I was talking about earlier, is pretty nice. I really do actually quite like the combat. Um, oh, that was a bit buggy. One thing which is pretty bad is that it is, by default, locked at 60 FPS. Ouch. Uh, heal, heal. Uh, but that's the that's the highest I've been able to get it to go, to be honest. I've And now it's about 45, because, you know, fraps. But, uh, yeah, 60 FPS. I mean, yeah, it's nice, but I mean... You know, if you've got a super great setup, but it's probably, you know, not as great as you'd want. Um, I guess it's alright. It's just, it's really not my thing at all. In any way, really. I mean, I played like 25 minutes of it, as you can tell. And there's nice stuff. I mean, there's nice mechanics. There's the store. 
Uh, I don't really think you can change weapons, unfortunately. It's kind of centered around, the storyline at least, is centered around the sword. So, there's not really much that you can do, I get. I mean, it's a brawler. I mean, what do you expect? It's a side-scroller brawler. Alright, let's start up a new game then. Uh, it's supposed to be really good, I can't really judge. I mean, this is a let's look at, so I can't really say that much. Because, you know, I mean, it's just its just the beginning. I've only played, like, half an hour into it. Oh, so far, really not. You know, it's alright. Alright, cinematic. Complete. Actually, you know, don't really necessarily want to spoil anything. Uh, damn it. Alright, well, <laughs> I guess we're looking at it. The greatest legends of Elysium, long since forgotten. What was once a land of promise has fallen to the ravages of war. And it was in this, our most desperate hour, that the greatest of Elysian tales began. The lone warrior stood against an army, slashing his way through all who opposed him. The mob stood no chance, and the soldier showed no mercy. Yeah, so, I really like this opening cinematic. It just, the rest of the game does not really par up to this, to be honest. Not to the mob, but to a single child. And one thing that's quite annoying is that it won't let you skip cinematics Dust. such as this one. It can just fast forward you through them. Alright, I'm just gonna basically skip through this because I don't really want spoilers, although it seems rather unavoidable at this point. So if you if you're thinking of getting the game, you may not want to see this. Um, uh, it's kind of bland, to be honest. I mean, it's a brawler, so you expect the storyline to be bland. But it seems like this would be a fairly, um, for a guardian, I'm you know, story centric looking game at least, and it is. But I just. I just don't really like it that much. It's not a bad game, it's just, you know, I don't really, it's not, I'm not a big fan of it. I'm not a big fan of Brawlers in the first place, but, for a Brawler, I guess it's alright. But, you know, the, the, the art style, I don't really like, the story I don't like, um, the combat's alright, it gets a bit monotonous. But, you know, it's, it's an alright game. It's just not my thing, to be honest. So, I suggest, you know, maybe checking it out if it's like two bucks and you're into brawlers. Yeah, sure. Probably not gonna buy it. You know, probably shouldn't buy it for, you know, 10, 15 bucks. Or however much it is usually. I just got it as a, you know, on sale. Well, you know, I guess check it out if you want to. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Alright, guys. See you later. Bye.